everybody. Um, we are in another episode of Pounds and Inches, and we are in a review of Molots in Space. That's right. Uh, I'm Ryan, as always. I'm Bethany. I'm Fancy Glitter. Fancy Glitter, our uh, superhero daughter who joins us when we talk about kids' reviews. So today, uh, first off, I want to talk about a little bit of uh, our health situation. Um, man, uh, I'm down a little bit more weight from last review. I was able to go buy a new pair of pants because all of my current pair of pants are, are too loose on me. And uh, it turns out I've lost six inches. That's something I've been paying attention to, just kind of the pounds. Uh, but yeah, six inches less than the, the last time I've bought pants, which is pretty great. That's, that's huge. That's like a big deal. You need to be more excited about that. <laughs> I'm super that. excited about it. <laughs> How about you, uh, Fancy Glitter? What's your, what are you going on with your health life? What's, what are you doing? What do you have to do? something else about my life. Like sure, tell us. Okay. Tell the camera. Um, tomorrow we are hosting Easter like like um Easter because we're hosting it. Yes, yeah, so she's very excited because she gets to play outside with her cousins and aunts and uncles and uh burn some calories that way so she's excited about that how about you i'm pretty excited because i've started um being able to run outside again and there is just something special to running outside that those of us who do understand all right so let's get to the review of mole rats in space uh, this is a full cooperative game uh geared towards kids um it's by peaceable kingdom and it's by matt leacock um you may have uh, heard of that name by pandemic Pandemic Legacy, the Forbidden series, which talked about Forbidden Sky in the past before as well. So um, this is a, a designer that we like and a company that we like. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Fancy Glitter, do you want to tell us uh, what the game is about? Yes. Okay. The game is about getting in the middle because if you don't get in the middle, you're like in space forever. Okay. Yeah, so and you're trying to get the snakes through the these tubes to get them out of the board, so you don't get, you get less bites. And if you do get a bite, you have to get this and put it in your pack and on your mole rat. If you get bit, if you get bit two times, you lose the game. That's correct. All right, so what is the background of this game? What's going on with the theme? <laughs> so you really are mole rats in space, and snakes have gotten aboard your spaceship, and so you are trying to, to leave because space and Earth are very similar, and mole rats and snakes still hate each other. And so you're trying to, you start at the edge of the board, and you're trying to work your way towards the middle in order to escape and get the necessities. You have to gather all the necessities you need, like, you know, a toothbrush and duct tape in order to leave on time. And you also have to get, you have to get duct tape, a tablet, a toothbrush, and a radish. Yes, so you have to roam the board, gather these four ingredients, uh, and also everyone make it to that escape pod uh, in order to win the game. The ways you can lose the game, as, as Fancy Glitter mentioned, if you get bit by a snake twice, you lose the game. Also, if a snake ever enters your central part of the escape pod, you lose the game that way as well. And there's also a third way which you will find out about later if you ever play this game. Alright, so um, what are some things that you like about this game, Fancy Glitter? I like that um I like that we get to go down these ladders because if we just had no ladders then we just go like we can't go in and you like that we go trails. up the ladders you like that we go up the ladders yeah yeah it's kind of a shoots and ladder thing going on as you're roaming around the board uh the cards tell you what to do it might say something like all characters move two spaces and also some snakes are going to move as well um so you try to move around the board making sure that you land on ladders when that happens you get to go up them when you land on a chute, you go down the chute. And the same happens with the snakes. When they go up ladders, they get closer to that escape pod, which is bad. And you can also arrange it so they go down chutes, which gets them away from you, which is also good. Alright, so how about you? Anything you like about this game? I like 
The little mole rats. <laughs> <laughs> they have these little backpacks on them that you put the things in, and it's just really cute. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> I like little dudes like that. Yeah. I like how this game kind of feels familiar. It feels like something you've played before. It has that kind of shoots and ladders feel to it. It also has, you know, that kind of forbidden desert or, or pandemic vibe to it. Because, again, it's by the same designer. And it's a cooperative game. But it still feels different and fresh to me. It's, it's All these components feel familiar. But the game itself is, is one of the most unique kids' games that we own. Is there anything you didn't like about this game, Fancy Glitter? Mm. No, <laughs> everything. All right, well, that's that's a pretty glowing review, so that's good for you. Um, for as far as I'm concerned, Can the how old I am? yeah, let's talk about let's talk about that. This game it says on the box it's geared for seven and up. Um, how old are you right now, Fancy Glitter? I am five and a half, really close to being six, and it says. And I'm good at this game, but sometimes my parents have to help me, but I'm getting better. That's right. Um, we first got this game for when she was four. I think, yeah. And we were pretty optimistic. and uh, that she'd Optimistic, be ignorant. Ignorant that she would be able to get it just for the first time. And to be honest, that first year solid of us attempting to play it, mm -hmm. um, it just felt like... She would get bored halfway through. We'd end up finishing the game by ourselves. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, that box of seven plus might be a little bit on the high side for a kid who's familiar with games. However, four and, and the early part of five is probably asking a little much of them. Oh, yeah. Both in terms of patience and in rule sets. Well, this game for being a kid's game... Um really has alpha gamer syndrome easily. And so if your kid can't grasp the concept of doing something better for you as opposed for them for the better of the game, um, then I just wouldn't recommend it until they can until they can get that, until they can understand that it might be better for you to do something to help you on your turn instead of to help them on their turn. Um, and then they... <laughs> And then also, like Ryan mentioned, um, it doesn't play super fast, but you do have to take, I mean, it isn't, it's not a very long game, but you do have to take individual turns, so that can be frustrating. Um, I, I like this game, but it's definitely not my favorite kids game. It's like this in-between stage of game, of kids game to adult game. It's like, it's like that awkward tween of a game. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. It's just like, I don't know. It's neither here nor there. It, it's not bad. I do like it, but it's definitely just not my favorite. And that's probably where we're going to be living for a little while as she kind of ages into the adult games too. So Tween be used gaming. to it. <laughs> Tween <laughs> gaming. Dad, can I talk now? Uh, let me just mention one really thing really quick. Um, it is possible to get cornered really easily. Um, anytime you touch a snake, you get bit. And just because of the gameplay... By no fault of your own, it's possible to get kind of cornered between snakes, and no matter which direction you choose, no matter what outcome you hope for, uh, you're going to get bit occasionally. Um, and that can be a little frustrating, especially, you know, if you lose the game. When you're, this is a longer kid game compared to what she's been playing. Um, but uh, it's possible that, that can happen to you, just to keep an eye out for that if it's something that you're interested in. All right, so my overall thoughts on this game are... It is, a, it is a good time, um, it is, it's fresh, it's familiar, but it's fresh at the same time. Um, uh, it's, it's grown on me, it's not something that we liked originally, but it is grown, as she's aged into it, it's grown on me as well. Um, it's challenging and it's fun. How about you? Um, I do like it, it's like I mentioned earlier, it's just not my favorite kids game to play, but um, it, is, it is fun and it's nice to be able to play this game if we have friends over and we can include um, glitter clat, glitter. Fancy glitter. Fancy glitter. How can you not remember <laughs> the superhero fancy glitter? We can include fancy glitter in a game because we do play a lot of um, cooperative games, and so our gaming group likes that. So it's kind of nice that we can, you know, mix those two worlds together. Yeah, and how about you, fancy glitter? What uh, do you? What's your final thoughts? 
Anything you want to tell the people about this game? What your what your thoughts are? Yes, that there is a new pack if you finish three things. If you finish three things and you get three check marks, and then once you check mark three, then you get to open up this pack and it makes the game hard. Yes, so that is something I forgot to mention. There is kind of a little almost a campaign mode or a, a legacy game um, where uh, after you've won the game, you get to open this up, mix these cards into the deck, makes it more challenging. Um, and there's a new uh, lose condition in that as well, so extra rules. Uh, and we actually like it more with those new rules added in. All right, so uh, th final thoughts. You like it? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so she is the, the final say, and I'm saying two thumbs up, it looks like. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Pounds and Inches. Um, as always, you can subscribe to see all of our latest videos and reviews as they come out. Please check out our blog on BoardGameGeek.com. It's also called Pounds and Inches, where we talk a little bit more about our health journey and what's going on there. You can also follow Bethany on Instagram at bnfigs. That's her handle there. Uh, she's always taking cool photos of board games. On all those platforms, you can like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you guys. All right, so until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. I'm Fancy Glitter. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>